Robert Suffer, Lilith and the Sacred Serpent. Love, let alone sexual pleasure, was seen to threaten and distract the masses from class struggle, food production, and industrialization. It was just like in Orwell's 84 with anti-sex youth groups advocating celibacy. Everyone... ...until they got married. They thought Writing it was a, a love letter was considered a crime. But ironically, Mao's own lifestyle contradicted the policy of his government. According to Dr. Li C. Su, author of The Private Life of Chairman Mao, quote, as Mao got older, he became an adherent of Taoist sexual practices, which gave him an excuse to pursue sex, not only for pleasure, but to extend his life. He claimed he needed the waters of yin, or vaginal secretion, to supplement his own declining yang, or male essence, the source of his strength, power, and longevity. Many of the women that Mao slept with were the young daughters of poor peasants who Lee said believed that sleeping with the chairman was the greatest experience of their life. Mao was happiest and most satisfied when he had several young women simultaneously sharing his bed, and he encouraged his sexual partners to introduce him to others. He often told the young women to read the Taoist sex manual, The Plain Girl's Secret Way, in preparation for their trysts. Lee said he often went to bed with three, four, or five women simultaneously, often under age, meaning around 14 years old. So what's the deal with this 14 years old thing? This is like a total reputation, but do you see how the mainland Chinese people are really high and mighty about purity as regards to the Hong Kongers or as regards to anybody? But but this is what happens with um, multi-personality disorder. They all have multi-personality disorder when you have... Um, What's right is wrong, and what's wrong is right. And when you have massive hypocrisy and lies, um, just just out and out craziness, but all being supported by the Rolling Stones, by the Paul McCartney's, or whoever, all these uh, after the Vietnam War in the early 70s, all these rock musicians were 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 touting Mao and creating the monster, and these poor Chinese people had nowhere to go. They're like, well, are we crazy or is the West crazy? Is the West absolutely insane? Like they, they thought they could trust the West? Just like right now the Hong Kongers think that the British are the only ones that they could trust to help them. And it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't don't count on it. Don't count on it. Don't count on it. 